Good morning, Organite. My name is Trevin, or Trev vs. the NFT, and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be extra special as we're talking about questing for Quest 3. I'll try to make this short and sweet, but there's a lot of information to cover, so let's dive straight in. So this is Quest 3, they've already had Quest 2 and 1, and the overview is Sui plus Missa Labs team up and give away 5 million in Sui. It's a fantastic way to explore the ecosystem of Sui as a whole, and it's super fun. So I do apologize for this video being a little bit late. There were some crazy big changes that actually kind of interrupted my editing process, but we're here now to let you know exactly what you need. So Quest 3 will actually be ending at November 9th around 10 p.m. PDT. Starting off strong, we had something different called Quest Pass. It's kind of like a referral program to get your Web2 users or non-crypto natives into questing. And as I'm talking right now, I'll be putting up a video basically going over a quest pass tutorial on how to get started. So what exactly is the quest pass? Well, it enables anyone, regardless of their prior exposure to Sui or Sui friends, the opportunity to join, compete, and win Sui rewards. All you need to do is have a Sui friends in your wallet and send a certain link out, and then they can start claiming and playing for quest three. This is a fantastic opportunity to get your friends into something different and let them know you can have a digital wallet and understand how cool cryptocurrency can actually so starting off strong we have arcade champions this is one of the first mobile games that you're actually able to play for sui and you can earn quite a bit of points so you're able to earn 0.8 points for every one arcade champion point earned and the daily limit is 1500. Next, we have Panzer Dogs, one of my favorite mobile games, and I've been a big avid for this community plus game. They also just reached over 1 million active users, so Quest 3 was a fantastic opportunity to bring more eyes into Sui. This one is very easy to get quest points and it's also super duper fun. You're able to earn three quest points for every one kill you have. I definitely recommend doing deathmatch, but there's also another fun tip. You can actually earn three points per one kill in Panzer Dogs, so points add up super duper quick and another 1500 points daily. I definitely suggest doing escort it's the best way to get multiple kills, and you can average anywhere from 10 to 15 per game. The nice thing also about Panzer Dogs is each match is around two to five minutes, so it's not that bad when you're just playing for fun. The next one we have is Run Legends. I actually haven't gone much into this one since I prefer a little bit different type of cardio and don't even do that much, but this is a fantastic opportunity to get healthy and also earn points. So you're able to earn 16 quest points for every enemy defeated in the game plus a max of 1500 points overall and then next we have the collection this is a ai art and oh my gosh is it fun you're able to basically create ai art on the sui blockchain and if you get supported or support other people you're able to earn quest points or basically people are supporting you. So the questing points are a tad bit different. You're only able to earn 300 points, but then there is a diminishing reward of 0.0036 and a max of 1500 points per day. I've had a lot of fun with AI art and I'll definitely be showing you some amazing pieces I've already made. And Poetry in Motion is another one I haven't really a lot because I'm not the best at creative writing, but it's a fun way for people that are very creative with their writing to have fun and earn some points. You're able to earn 0.099 points for every word completed in the poems. And the best part is there's no diminishing returns on this D app, so have fun and keep creating. Next, so next we have Sulet. This one's pretty fun because there's three different ways on how to get points. The first one is just Sui, so for every one Sui you put down, you get one quest point. Then we have Cetus, which is a native token on the Sui blockchain, so for every one Cetus, you get 0.08 points. And then we have Buck, which is basically our USDC equivalent on Sui. For every one Sui, you get two quest points. So since this is pretty easy to get quest points, there's only a 300 max, but if you wanna keep going, there is a 1000 point max. But after the first 300 you get, there is a diminishing factor of 0.05. 
Next, we have Disui Coin Flip. This is probably one of my favorite things. I'm a huge fan of them, and Disui Labs is killing it. So kind of in the same way. So for every one Sui you put down, you're able to get one quest point. For every one buck you put down, you're able to get two quest points. And also to mention, for Sulet and Du Disui Coin Flip, it basically doubles. So for example, if I put two Sui down and I win, says I win four Sui, I get four points. But if I put two Sui down and I lose, I get two points. So if you do win, you're able to get a lot of points very, very quickly. And then again, there is a 300 point max, but you can get up to a thousand points. But after the 300, the diminishing returns are a factor of 0.002. Next, we have Worlds Beyond. This is probably one of my favorite ones because it's more of a PC game orientated game and it's pretty easy to get points. They have a zombie game, they have a shooter game, they have a hunter game, and they have kind of a runner slash fall guys game. So you basically earn 0.15 quest points for every infinite credit earned in game. On average, if you win in fun runners, you're able to get around 400 points. So you need a total of 10,000 points to basically get 1500 quest points per day and i can average that anywhere between two to three hours and last but not least we have bushy and this is a super fast paced game definitely putting your limits and showcasing your skill i personally am not the best at this game but i know a lot of people do enjoy it because it's very fast paced it's fun and exciting so quest points are kind of a little bit differently so just like with world beyond you get 0.15 points per damage made and you can average this pretty well and you can actually get your 1500 quest points in around one to two hours. And they actually have some really cool multipliers this time for having a loyalty basically that you competed in quest one and two, plus having a Sui name service and then last, basically holding on to multiple Sui friends. So you're able to get a 1.45X just by having all three. And if you're wondering how the heck do I actually get points with playing these mobile games and games on the PC, well don't worry, they have an invisible wallet and each game has a tutorial on how to link your Sui friends to the invisible wallet. And the reward structure is a little bit different, but it's also pretty easy to follow. So right here, first rank will get 10,000 in Sui rewards, two to five get 5,000 rewards and so on. I will be putting this graph right here so you can see exactly what the rewards are for quest three. And the best part is if you're new to Sui and you don't have a lot of time, if you get 2,500 points with three different D apps, you're able to compete and get some Sui. So the minimum Sui you can get from doing the bare minimum is 25 Sui, which honestly I think is not that bad because it also gives more opportunity to people that are not Web3 native. And when we're talking about the quest past, the points are actually pretty cool. So you'll be able to get 50 quest points for every referral that participates with zero score. But if someone participates and get the minimum of 2,500 points, you're able to get 1,000 points for yourself by being a Sui friends holder. And if you guys are, are still here, the bare minimums are having a Sui friends or a quest pass participating in at least three of the D apps and having a point score of 2,500 quest points. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I've been wanting to make this for a while, but I know a lot of things are happening on Quest 3 to make it better for everybody. My name is Trevin or Trevin versus NFT, and I will see you in Web 3.